That's the synth octave. What the F? So yesterday, Thomas McRocklin launched his new company, Polychrome DSP, and they released their first product, the McRocklin Suite. So if you're not aware of Thomas McRocklin, you really need to go check him out. He is a phenomenal guitar player. He's been playing for decades. He's toured with Steve Vai, done all kinds of crazy stuff. And he's got probably the most impressive array of tones from anyone in the YouTube gear industry. Now their goal with Polychrome DSP is to not just replicate amps true to how they would sound, but more to create fully produced sounds that don't need a lot of post-FX, post-processing, anything like that. So I think that sounds like an incredible idea. They launched it at an insane price of $99 for an introductory price. It's going to go up to $149, which is still a really good price, so you really got to go pick it up. It was a no-brainer for me. I haven't even checked it out yet. Just bought it right away as soon as it released. So today I'm just going to go through the install process and then give you my first impressions on all the sounds, go through the presets, and just try to help anybody who's a little unsure about whether or not they want to get it. Let's check it out. So once you've bought it, you need to register with Polychrome DSP with the same email that you buy it under, and then it'll automatically show up in this My Plugin area. Once my order had processed and I registered, it was just automatically put here. So I'm on Windows. I'll do the Windows installer. So you want to extract it. These always download as a zip, full setup. So Polychrome DSP is a brand new company, so I'm not surprised that Microsoft Defender is like, uh, what you doing, bro? Run anyway. We trust Thomas in this house. Let's go. Except, just make sure these are going into somewhere that your DAW will search for. That did. So that's finished. So now we'll boot up Reaper. Oh, I see it scanned for it already. So I have it set to scan like that automatically. If you don't, you may need to come into Options, Preferences, Plugins, VST. If you need to add the path that you put them in, go here and Add Path, and then just rescan, rescan for new modified plugins, and then it should show up. So then you just insert a track, come here to FX. Let's see. So. It'll be under here under new, or it looks like it shows up as Polychrome DSP. There it is. VST3. So McRocklin Suite. Register online. So let me put in this real quick. All right, so I'm just using my Polychrome DSP registration info. Hit login. Let's see. Connecting to server. Activation. Finishing. Register to, that's me. Again, I will blur that out because that's my private email, but looks like it worked, and we are in. All right, got some coffee. Got Reaper loaded up. Got my guitar. Drop D. So this is exactly how it pops up on its own. Uh, looks like we've got, so looks like these control this section. So pre-FX, got that heat presser compression, and the synth octave, drive pedals, attacker, shredder, riffer, viber. I'm guessing that's just different gain stages. Speaker chains, oh, maybe different speaker types for each amp. Uh, high cut, low cut, got to have that. Multiband EQ, of course, and post effects, delay, reverb. and So, okay, so this post effects compression is probably what's making the biggest difference as far as it just being plug and play, ready to go, not needing a bunch of post processing. So let's see how it sounds. Ready? Oh. Oh, that's cool. So there's like this little, um, what would you call it? Overload meter. Kind of like the halo around a knob on an audio interface. That's cool. Let's take the delay off real quick. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice reverb. Also, I gotta mention, I admittedly have not played guitar in a couple days. So I'm a little rusty, I'm sorry. Let's go through these pretty quickly and then we'll mess around and then we'll get out of here. 80s Super League. <laughs> Woo! 
It's also cold in here today. Oh, so good. Okay. Angry Metal. Okay, everything's got delay on it. Let's... Try off turning off the reverb too. Woo! Do you hear how responsive that gate is? Pay attention when I stop. That is the quickest gate I've maybe ever heard. I'm really impressed already. All right, moving on. Axeman. Okay. Now that's a chug. Oh, so the input and output change with each uh, preset. So I will go ahead and just bump that down a little bit. Split coil. Okay. This sounds really good. Beneath the mask. What the F? What is going on here? Is that the synth? That's the synth octave. Okay. Okay, we'll be here all day with that one. We got we better move on. of these are there holy hold on holy oh my goodness oh my god oh, oh my, my god, god. Games, my whoa hold up launch song i need that uh This is crazy. There is a lot going on here. Okay, he's got all of his live stream favorite. I mean, come on. This was
really good dry sound. Got acoustic skrill checks. Okay, I think it's safe to say all of the presets are usable. Let's play around with these knobs a little bit. Let's go to a low gain. Let's do what sounds good. Peanut butter. That sounds good. <laughs> So we're going to turn off delay and reverb. Do bridge humbucker. That'll probably be a little easier. Low gain sound. Let's go to... Let's turn off the heat presser. Looks like it wasn't too intense here anyways, but... Loosens it up a bit. Let's change that to bright. Oh, those are two different toggles. Ooh, that sounds good. Crank that up. <laughs> that compressed the heck out of that. All right, drive pedals. So he, this is the riffer. Let's turn that off. Okay, let's try the attacker. Shredder. The Viber. So I like the shredder, I think. It was. Let's try the attacker and the shredder. Okay, uh, let's go adjust the shredder. Let's mess with these speaker chains a bit. So I'm guessing. Okay, so you have to, yeah. So you have to pick one for each. I was gonna say, I'm sure you can't just turn them off. So then you've got EQ here. Oh no, you can turn the speakers on and off, just all at once. So there's the DI sound. Hey, someone's gonna use that speaker. Okay, so right. So these are these correspond to the three amps here. So if we're on the gain amp, let's see if changing the clean speaker does anything. No. Okay. So this is the one that'll matter. So Thomas, amazing job, seriously. EQ, I'm sure it's perfect. Oh, you can switch between, oh. This is $99 or $149 after the introductory thing. This is incredible. I'm not even gonna go into the delay and reverb because we'll be here literally all day. All right, I'm calling it here. Just go get this. Unless you don't have an audio interface or you don't have $99, you need to go get this. And if you don't have an audio interface and $99, I don't know. Do something. Try and get it. This is really good. Thomas McRocklin, you knocked it out of the park. 
this is the most plug and play I've ever seen. So let's compare actually real quick before we go. So I've been using Neural DSP, Basi. <laughs> See, that sounds good, but it there is something sort of missing there. And it's that post effects, that like after the fact processing that they've incorporated into Polychrome DSP that I think is making a really big difference. So once again, hats off to you, Thomas. Congratulations. This is incredible. I hope it's super successful. Everybody you need to go try this out. I think there's a free trial available. I didn't bother with it because I was already sold on it back when the mailing list first dropped. So if you want to try it out, do the trial, and I think you'll love it. All right, uh, subscribe to the channel for more. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think or what kind of videos you want to see, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.